Today we're going to talk about OneDrive because it has a killer feature in it which I had actually taken for granted recently as I was moving some of my video files around. These video files to be exact. So today is a really quick two minute Tuesday video to remind you all about this feature and how to switch it on or, or check that it's switched on. Oh and if watching more of these videos might be of interest to you and you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing, hey? Recently I had to move some of my files around as I was hitting the one terabyte limit that came included as part of my personal OneDrive. I signed up for a Google Apps account which has unlimited storage which is awesome. Dragged all of my files across from my OneDrive into the Google Drive. Bang! All of it was moved, all I had to do was wait for the upload to, to finish which wouldn't have actually taken too long from the connection we've got here. Unbeknownst to me, or at least something I'd forgotten about, uh, was that I'd be making use of a brilliant brilliant OneDrive feature that only downloads and stores the files that you need on your machine. What does Google not do? Yeah, doesn't do that. So what my computer was doing was downloading that one terabyte of video footage into my Google Drive, which was then synchronizing it up to the cloud. And what don't I have on my one terabyte MacBook Pro? Well, one terabyte of spare storage space. That was a fun game to play. Turns out, that with Google Backup and Sync, I think it's called, um, it stores everything locally, and the best you can do is decide not to synchronize certain folders. In the meantime, my laptop was dying because it had zero space on it. Yay! So if you have a large amount of files on your OneDrive and you're worried that you don't have enough room on your machine to store them, then all you need to do is go here. You go into your OneDrive, go into your More Settings, to Preferences, and then right down the bottom here, you've got files on demand. Now I've got it switched on already, so you can see that I've got the option to turn it off. But if you haven't got it turned on, then you've got the option to switch it on. It will only actually download files which you've accessed recently, but it will look as though all of the files are there, so you don't have to go hunting through folders and that you haven't synchronized uh, Google Drive anybody. Anyway, that is your two minute Tuesday for this week. Thanks as always for watching. Of course, like the video if you did. If you didn't like the video, then hit the dislike button twice. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, and I might be seeing you lovely people in the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.